Hi there. Uh, today, I was going through some of the Vanguard Facebook groups, and I noticed uh, a lot of comments like this. There seems to be some confusion or anger or people arguing over uh, Star Vader Photon and Strange Dragon. Now, both things are Grade 2, uh, Grade 2 is from the Link Joker clan, and both serve similar roles in that they are uh, cards that allow you to get locks off while also not really doing much else. Now, I'm here to help you decide whether or not to run one or the other, and we're going to look at a few categories to help you decide uh, which one to pick. Now, this is almost subjective, but not quite. Uh, we're going to be uh, looking at a total of uh, six categories. Money, meaning how much it costs to buy the card that you need. Uh, early game usage, mid game usage, late game usage, the uh, usage past the turn you call it, and flexibility overall. Now, uh, I should probably define what that means. Early game usage to me is from the moment you go stand up Vanguard to the moment you ride grade three. Mid game is from the moment you ride grade three to your first stride, and then late game is second stride onward. So, why don't we just get started uh, with how much it costs. Let's take a look here. Uh, Star Vader Photon on TCG Player at the time of recording this is $39.90 while Strange Dragon is uh, $1.48. So Strange Dragon wins this one. Uh, I know Photon's getting a reprint in the Stargate boosters so that may change by the time you see this, but at, in the meantime Strange Dragon's got the win. Uh, for early game usage Star, uh, Photon's effect is when it's placed on the rearguard circle. If you have a Vanguard with Star Vader in its name and your opponent has a locked card, you pick an opponent's rearguard and lock it. And then Strange Dragon's effect is that uh, when it's placed on rearguard, if you have a Vanguard with Chaos in its card name until the end of the turn, it gets red text. When it attacks or boosts, if it is an attack that it's attacking a Vanguard, your opponent picks one of his or her rearguards and locks it. If they couldn't, uh, it gets plus five kits all into the battle, and then also uh, Generation Break 1, if your opponent has a lock card, gains boost. Now, it seems pretty straightforward, but there's a few things to unpack here. First off, uh, early game usage is that both things can lock a card before you start striding. Um, Photon needs a lock card already there, whereas uh, Strange Dragon needs a Chaos Vanguard, which means that you're not going to be able to do that turn two, Whereas with Photon, you can. So, that being said, I'm still going to give the early game usage to Photon because its locks are really easy to do <laughs> in Link Joker. So th that limitation of ne needing a lock card kind of isn't a thing. Uh, for mid-game usage, uh, I'm still giving that to Photon because uh, you locks are really easy to get in Link Joker. Also, you get to choose, whereas Strange Dragon, you can't. Uh, Strange Dragon, it lets the opponent choose, which means uh, by mid-game your opponent's going to have usually some kind of board presence that they can just be like, all right, I'm going to lock the, my starter. Moving on. Whereas uh, Photon can be like, all right, I'm going to hit that grade two in the front. So yeah, Photon's got the win on that one. Late game usage, uh, this one goes to Strange Dragon. So usually by late game, you've already done your Chaos Breaker Deluge or whatever else you've done. Uh to where your opponent's board is most likely just going to be locked completely. Uh, Strange Dragon can take advantage of this by being a uh, plus 5k, which is more uh, pressure the later the game goes on. If, you're, if he's attacking for 14 while your opponent's at 1 damage, fuck it, take the damage. Whereas if it's, you know, it's 14k or whatever his boost is, like 21k against the opponent when they're at like 5 damage, that's a little more pressure to be put on it. On top of that, his skill of being a booster while the opponent has a lock card, so all the time, is uh, definitely useful because you can keep calling other grade twos that do things like Muleptin and still be able to use him past the turn you call him, which also brings me to the next category, usage past the call turn. That's Star or Strange Dragon with all of the bullets, not just one. Um, like I said, 
it can be used as a booster past the turn you call him, whereas uh, Photon stays as, as a vanilla. And then lastly, flexibility. So what I mean by that is the amount of situations where the card is useful. Now, let, let's kind of break it down. Photon's usability is helpful when the opponent has cards that need to be locked early game and also in builds that don't have chaos in them, which isn't common, but it can be a thing. Whereas Strange Dragon requires a Chaos Vanguard, it requires uh, the opponent to not, it doesn't need a lock card, but it, requ it lets the opponent choose, which is bad for flexibility, but also it has the ability to be a booster. Now, the booster thing is something that was kind of giving it an edge this whole time, but I still gotta give this one to Photon, because uh, it... Being able to choose is kind of a big thing in Vanguard, especially when people can kind of shit out fields for nothing now. You can, the opponent being able to just pick a back row, they're not going to be too concerned about, uh, can screw you over. Because uh, the big way Chaos wins is by shutting off a lot of pressure from the opponent and just kind of like slowly grinding them to death. So Photon's got the win on that one. Now, that being said, uh, nobody wants to spend $160 on a playset of a grade 2 from a trial deck. So, if you got to run Strange Dragon, you got to run Strange Dragon. That's okay. Uh, hopefully this reprint drives the price down a little bit, but uh, it's definitely just something to consider when making card choices. If you like that video, make sure to leave a comment or like and subscribe down below. Uh, we have playmats you guys can buy, Nexus Core playmats, which uh, you can see it right here. And then, um, you know, on Inked Playmat Gaming. If you want to see more videos like this where I help you guys make card choices, uh, comment with things below. Like, if you want to compare uh, the three types of Big Belly, I'm good at great nature, pick those. Uh, I can help you with that, or uh, just any other kind of things you're torn on. Comment below and we'll do more of these in the future. Have a good one, guys.